Hello, today I'm going to be talking about self-service registration in FusionAuth. One of the key aspects of a customer identity and access management system, which is one of the roles that FusionAuth can play, is to be able to enable a large amount of self-service. In traditional workforce identity management, provisioning happened at well-understood and well-known times. When you hired an employee, you added them to a number of accounts. When the employee left, you deprovision them. With customers, it's a little bit different. You don't want any friction in the customer sign-up process, so you certainly don't want the customer to have to ask someone in IT to provision accounts. That's true for a large number of web-based or mobile-based businesses. FusionAuth handles that very easily. Here we are at the dashboard. So we're going to go to Applications. We have a Pied Piper application. And if we view the application, we can see we have a login URL. You would use this login URL without self-service registration if you were creating users in some other manner. Importing them, creating them via the API, using a third-party identity provider such as Google, Facebook, SAML, OIDC. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So you can see we have a pretty typical login screen. This is the FusionAuth default theme. And I'm viewing all this in an incognito window because FusionAuth itself is an application. So if I were to do something in the same window, there'd be the possibility of kind of crosstalk. So I don't want to have that happen. All right, pretty simple login screen. What we don't have here is any way for someone to sign up. Let's enable that. So we edit the application and I'm doing all this via the administrative user interface. You can absolutely do this via the APIs. And if you're gonna be creating a large number of applications or if you wanna manage your application config over time using an IAC tool or a set of scripts, then you should absolutely not use the UI. But for demos, it's great. So you can see here we have a self-service registration section. And all we do is enable it. Now there are two types of self-service registration. There is basic and advanced. Advanced is a premium feature. You have to have a paid edition to use advanced registration. And that lets you create multi-step forms. You can have custom data. So if you're building a real estate application, you might ask for different kinds of questions on registration of a possible customer than you would if you're building a recipe app. But we're not gonna talk about advanced registration. There is a link below that points to a guide about advanced registration if you wanna learn more. Basic registration is included with the FusionAuth Community Edition, the Forever Free Edition. So with basic registration, we have a couple of different options. We can require a password to be confirmed. We can choose whether we want the login ID to be with an email or with a username. And an email is just a typical email address. A username is any string. So if you want people to log in with their mobile phone number or another kind of username that is distinct from their email address, that's the option you would use. Then we have all these different registration fields that you have control over. So you can set them to be enabled, which means they are on the registration form or enabled and required, which basically means that FusionAuth won't let someone register without that information. Let's go ahead and say we're going to enable first name and last name, and we're going to require first name. All right, so we have configured our basic registration. Let's go ahead and save the application. Now, if we return to the login page and reload, 
can see that we now have a create account. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, this is all the default theme. And you can change this to look and feel how your application looks and feels. You can localize it. And you can definitely kind of move the piece around to make it look like not the default Fusion Auth theme. Anyway, let's go ahead and create an account. So because we chose email as our login type, it's going to ask us for our email. It's requiring us to confirm our password. And let's go ahead and try to register right now. Oh wait, we did not fill out a required field. So it's going to prompt us to do that again. All right, and then we click register. We successfully register, we're logged in. I haven't set up the application to actually show us logged in, but we will appear in FusionAuth. So you can see now we have the test at FusionAuth.io user, which we just registered. Let's take a look. So they are registered and they are now associated with the Pied Piper application. Let's look at the application one last time. So you can see that we actually have a registration URL and that is something that you can put in your application um, you can modify the theme to have this in a different place, but this is basically your sign up link. So we have our OAuth IDP login URL, which is our sign in link, and our registration URL, which is our sign up link. There you have it. You can see that adding a basic registration form to FusionAuth that allows customers or users or potential customers to create an application at their leisure without any effort on your part is easy to enable. You can customize it to some extent with the basic registration form, um, including you know, determining which fields make sense for your application to collect before someone becomes a registered user. Thank you.